my jaw aches. When I wake, my teeth are loose in my mouth. I yawn and my bones clip. I lie still, listening to the dark, hear snoring loud as cutting saws and dreamy yelps. Hear the upcry of the insects, their rising hiss and tick. I need to sleep, but can't. Worry for Safi worms through me, wondering about my mother, whether she lay in this same clearing, roped and sorrowful, blankets me. I turn on my side, stare into the night that rings the clearing. My longing for my mother spreads over me in a great fishing net and tightens, so whole I can feel it from my head to my middle to my feet. Wild hope surges in my chest. What if my mother is the lurker? What if she freed herself as Safi did? And what if she has been making her way back to me this whole terrible year and has finally found me on this descent? You said you would come if I called, I whisper, words hidden under the waterfall's rush. You said, Mama, I say. There is movement in the trees, skirts as flouncy and full as any my sire's children wore, except these writhe. The woman who wears them is brown as my mama, slender as her too, and a sudden terror freezes me. I want her to come for me, to untie my ropes, but I do not want these men to catch her. The word rings like a bell in my head. I could not bear to see these men rope my mama again. Yet the woman who might be my mother, who must be my mama, is not afraid. She steps out of the forest upright, sure, more graceful than any woman I have ever seen. And it is then that I realize it's not her. She looks like my mama in the set of her eyes, the pull of her mouth. But my mother never walked like that, gliding almost, shoulders arced back. My mother never wore a dress so fine, gray and layered, so gathered and bustled. My mother's skirts never billowed as if alive. I swallow and look about at my fellow roped, my fellow chained, at the Georgia men rolling over and twitching in their bedrolls, but they are all sunk into sleep. This woman must be some other sister, wife, mother, caregiver. Disappointment breaks in my throat and drains downward. I try not to feel it, but still. This woman could mean freedom for someone else here, but not me.